Good morning. It is the Cotter and Marshall Show. Be sure to get the stream, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. While you're there, like, follow, and subscribe. Right now, it is time for Beer for Breakfast. This is brought to you by Coach's Corner in Thunderbolt this weekend. Great live music, as always, out of Coach's. Tonight, it is the Charlie Fogg Band. Tomorrow night, it is a Matchbox 20 Hootie and the Blowfish tribute bands that should be a lot of fun and they so, do both and they do both man they got you covered that's a talented band right <laughs> charlie fogg tonight matchbox 20 hootie and the blowfish tribute band tomorrow coach's corner uh in thunderbolt all right beer for breakfast joined in studio right now uh, by stephanie from scoff law brewing Woo. good morning good morning uh we got you up early but it's to talk beer so it's always a good thing for uh, sure let's talk with uh scoff law i mean where how long have you been there now um, so I've been with the company for two years, okay. um, but we just celebrated four years in September. It's only been four? It's only been four years. It seems like you guys have been around forever. I know. Yeah, we actually stopped by Scoffla Brewing when we went to Super Bowl. Uh, go cover the Super Bowl yep. a couple of years ago in Atlanta. And boy, that was a good time. Yes. Uh, we actually, when we went in there, a beer rep from Savannah just happened to be in there. He bought us our first couple beers. Yeah, it was great. Random, a good. random occurrence occurred. So now that we've uh, come into the idea that every time we go to Scofflaw, we get free beers, <laughs> yeah. I just expect it for life now that I know you. Yeah, of yeah, course. So I'm, I'm making that call every single time. No problem. So That's you what got, I'm here for. You guys got the main brewery, but you just mentioned back uh, a Halloween, you opened up a, a separate R&D facility. Yes. Um, so that's called Dr. Scofflaws. That's awesome. Um, and it's at a mixed use um, sort of complex, which is a mile and a half down the road from the main brewery. Right. Um, so that's another 9,000 square feet, um, 70 taps. That's um, so many taps. How do you have enough? That's that's too much beer. I mean, <laughs> Travis needs something to do. So that's that's so much to do. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. What's the, what's the in your opinion? Anyway, what do you think's the the weirdest beer they've done there? Because, I mean, with 70 taps, you got to imagine he's going, what What do I have around right. the house? What can I throw in this beer? Right. right. Um, gosh, that's a good question. I mean, everything that we do isn't – I'm trying to think of anything weird. Right. But, I mean, we just use, like, a, d a lot of different adjuncts. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, we'll take, like, basement yeah. add pineapple juice to right. it. Um. But I'm sure he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Uh, we just came out with a sour, a pineapple mango strawberry sour. Oh, that sounds fantastic. That um is a little bit weird. That but... sounds like it'd go great with like garlic parm wings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also, I'm really, really craving garlic parm wings. I don't nice. know why that that popped into my head. Well, you you say you've been with Scofflaw for for two years now. Mm -hmm. We've been to the facility. We had a great time there. Um, I had a question. I completely lost it. Uh, as I was filling time there. Um, more importantly, what beers did you bring for us today? So I brought um, our Pog Basement, which is our flagship beer basement, um, but we just add passion fruit, orange, and guava juice to Love it. Love that. Damn. And then I brought the new, new Basement Light. Um, I've never our, even heard of that one before. Yeah, we just came out with it. So that, Oh, that's like, uh, it, it, I see a calorie count on the front. So that's kind of supposed to be your like uh, lower calorie, yes. like wink, wink, come drink me beer. Yes, if yeah. you want to stay skinny. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited about that because I love, I'm love. i back into IPAs again. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I could find a really good lower calorie IPA, yeah. yes, please. Yeah, like yeah. A, a slug, like I can slug them crushable beer yes. all day. That would be awesome. Yeah, and it's only 4%. So I like that. It's, uh, that's an all day beer. That is, is an all day long it's beer. Beach, it's a beach beer for sure. It very well could be. All right. So do we want to try one now? Do you want to wait for a break? I say we crack one open. All right. Yes. Let's, it's let's beer for breakfast. It. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's start off yeah, with the Pog, the passion fruit, uh, orange, guava. guava. And what is this? It comes in at seven and a half percent alcohol. <laughs> yeah. So that's, um, that's kind of our jam. Like we make higher alcohol IPAs. Is right. A little bit of our specialty. Um, you guys don't mess around. No. Our uh, our head brewer, Travis Herman, um, he drinks double Jeopardy like it's going out of style. <laughs> and that's our 10% uh, double IPA. Oh, my gosh. So He is, he is essentially <laughs> distilling himself yeah, every single day. Exactly. Some people have coffee. Some people have, you know, double Jeopardy. That's it's right. Just, that's when, what you're in the mood for. When you, when you make it yourself, I guess you got to drink it. That's All right. right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and I'll hold it up to the camera. But let's take a big old sniff of this, yeah. this thing and see what we smell here. The nose is exactly everything that you say on the can. Passion fruit, you get the orange, you get the guava. It, it smells 
so good. It's got mm-hmm. a nice hoppy flavor to it as well. I mean, I smell the hops. You know this is uh, of IPA, absolutely. Um, holding it up to the light, I mean, you're holding it up here. It's just kind of the hazy IPA look. I'll hold it to the camera so you guys can yeah, see that a straw on the live color, as well. A straw color, a little haze to it, which mm-hmm. I like. I yep. like uh, Stephanie, throw out some uh, brewer's terms that we wouldn't understand, so, so we'd sound smart here. Um, well, so, I mean, I guess we talk about the hops. There's yeah. um, Chinook, Cascade, and Citra. We've been told those are hops. That's good. Those are hops. Yeah. <laughs> um, and those also lend sort of a fruity flavor mm-hmm. to the beer as well. Now, um, now, it says passion fruit, orange, and guava on the can. Are those things actually in the can, or are they just represented by the hops that are they are brewed with? No, there's actually... We, um, that was a put, good question. I like yeah, it. I was impressed. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's juice from Oregon that we put in the wort during the brewing process. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I like that. Gives it a little extra. And it, just, it makes it such an approachable IPA. Yeah. Even when people say, you know, mm, I don't want to taste it because I'm not into IPAs. I'm like, just, it's yeah. open. Try it. You can spit it out if you don't like it. Just not on you. Um, yeah, yeah, please. I prefer. All um, right. Well, let's uh, let's yeah. go ahead and, and take a taste. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. It's a great way to start my Friday. I know, right? Uh, it's totally <laughs> worth getting up early now. Seven That's and a half right. percent. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. And once again, I mean, one of our biggest things when we when we're trying beers, it's like, does it does it live up to what it says it is? To me, the beer lives up to what it says it is. Mm-hmm. You, you definitely get all of that fruit. I mean, right up front, it hits you right away. Very juicy, very good. Then on the back end, the, the bitterness of the hops come in, and you're like, dang, yeah, that is a fantastic IPA. Yeah. Yeah, and when it comes to beers, like some people are like, man, I don't like fruit in my beer. The thing is, it's like having the different flavor profile is amazing, especially when you, if you're out like having dinner or something, having something that breaks up just that standard like domestic beer, something like this is great. Yeah, definitely. It goes really well with food, um, but it's also I mean, it's great by itself, too. Yeah, it's a good, like, garage-sitting beer. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just, like, sit in my garage looking at my workout equipment <laughs> thinking, you know what? <laughs> yes. I'm going to work out one day, but I'm going to finish this beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on the beer scale of Supremacy, Cotter, we'll go ahead and start with you. Uh, let's let's go ahead and grade out uh, Scofflaws. Uh, was it Basement Pog or Bog, Pog Basement? Pog Basement. Pog Basement uh, Passion Fruit Orange Guava IPA. I'm going to go 4.25 out of 5. Um, I mean, it's a really strong IPA. I'm on a huge IPA kick right now. This is something that kind of, you know, gives me everything I want when I'm drinking the IPA. Uh, I love the fruitiness of it. The the the, the nose on it's fantastic. The the hops at the end of it. This is yeah. This is a solid beer. Now, this is a great IPA. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a straight up four out of five. I've always liked Scofflaw. Their IPAs are fantastic. I'm not on quite the IPA quick kick, excuse me, that you are, but I really do enjoy this beer. Stephanie, I know it's probably going to be a little skewed because you do work for Scofflaw, but what would you give uh, Scofflaw's Pog Basement IPA? I mean, I'd definitely go four and a half. Okay. A solid four and a half. Nice. I can't argue with that. All right. Uh, All right, so coming up next, we're going to chat some more. Plus, you got another beer. This is the Basement Light. I'm super excited to try this one next. Never tried this one. Uh, A locale IPA. Yes, please. All right, bruised and bloodied. It's Seether. We got more beer for breakfast coming up. Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061. Good morning. Be sure to get that stream. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. It is Beer for Breakfast, brought to you by Coach's Corner in Thunderbolt. Live music tonight from the Charlie Fog Band tomorrow night. It is a Matchbox 20 Hootie and the Blowfish tribute band. So big thanks to Coaches for sponsoring Beer for Breakfast. Of course, joined in studio by Stephanie from Scofflaw. The Pog was fantastic. Can't wait to try this next one. we got the Basement Light. It is a low-cal IPA. We've already got some beer port. And now the can looks great. So the basement light, it is literally like an old school light that you'd find when you go down into a basement. You say it glows in the dark, right? Yeah, this is what it looks, that, what it looks like in the That's great. Ooh, let, me, fun. let me see that real quick. So For I just sure. held I held the can up to uh, our live stream. Uh oh. There we go. I held the can up to the live stream, but that's what it actually looks like. Uh Stephanie has a picture on her phone that I'm holding up to the live stream. That what it looks like. As it glows in the dark. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love uh, creative uh, can art or ideas, and I don't think I've ever seen one that glows in the dark. I mean, that's just a genius idea. I think that makes the beer better somehow. (laughs) I think it does. It's easier to find in the dark. (laughs) All right. uh, So, Stephanie, go ahead and explain what Basement Light is for everyone. So, um, the owner of our brewery, Matt Shira, uh, Basement is his favorite beer, um, and he was getting a little, little 
pooch <laughs> belly. <laughs> so he said to Travis, listen, I need you to make me a light beer. Mm-hmm. Travis said, awesome. So they just, um, it's basically everything that basement is. You've got your good, like, hop profiles to it, um, just a little bit less malt, um, only 120 calories right. and 4% ABV. It's pretty awesome. Uh, now, is this widely available? I haven't seen this yeah. in stores yet. Okay. Yep. Hey, I just haven't been looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. I, I'm terrible at this. All right. Well, let's go ahead and, and start with the smell test, as we always do for the beer review uh, that we do. It still has a nice nose on it. I mean, I think it's 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 you know like the beer itself, lighter than you're probably going to get from uh, the normal basement IPA, but mm-hmm. you can still get a little bit of uh, the fruitiness and then uh, definitely a little bit of the hops to it. Yeah, it yeah. smells like diet beer. <laughs> <laughs> holding it up to uh, the light and uh, actually holding it up to the live stream right now, it is that golden light color, uh, almost no carbonation all running through it, which is absolutely fine by me. Uh, actually, I think we have a great new tagline. Uh, uh, go ahead. This one's free. My wife actually just uh, on the live stream said, light enough to drink all day, but glows enough to drink all night. <laughs> what? I like what? it. You can have that. That's free. I just want free beer for the rest <laughs> nice. of my life. Nice. Of course. <laughs> all right. Let's give this a go. All right, everybody. Cheers. 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 That is so easy drinking. I know, right? Wow. Connor's face right there. <laughs> All right, I'm in love. Um, oh, this, is, this is great. No, I mean, like I said, I've been on this big IPA kick, and uh, yeah, man, I get the, hey, I'm gaining weight. I need something maybe a little locale. <laughs> uh, this is one of those things that you're just like, how is this not a thing? Why aren't there more like ha- a locale IPA beers? Uh, this is this is good, man. Actually, someone on the stream goes, "Diet beer sounds great," and love the glow in the dark can idea. So <laughs> yeah. There you go. I mean, it's it's people are already loving this thing. We're just bringing it to the light, yeah. quite literally. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and, and grade this thing out, guys. So on the beer scale of supremacy, Cotter, we'll start with you as we as we do. Scofflaw Brewing's Basement Light, 120 calories, coming at four percent alcohol. Cotter, what do you give this? On the scale of supremacy. So, th- I mean, this is weird because normally when you when you try a beer, you have, you know, a range. You have something to, to base it on. It's like, sure. all right, I'm going to compare it to this, going to compare it to that. It's I, different. I don't have something to compare this to. So it's <laughs> it's so weird. So it's like I'm, I'm setting a bar with this beer if there's other future, you know, uh, low-calorie IPAs. I mean, I know a lot of people do like a session IPA where it's lower uh, alcohol content. Mm-hmm. Um, but, oh, man, do I... I'm going to start with a four. I, I'm going I'm to go four with Ooh. it because I, I've been looking for a beer like this. And this, I, I may have found the beer I've been looking for. Right. Uh, this is, it's what I would want out of a locale IPA. Because it's so unique. Yeah, you you are right. You don't want to grade it too high. Right. Because you don't know where the ceiling is. You don't know yet. You just don't know. <laughs> it's, it's weird. And here's the thing. Technically, it's the basement. Because it's basement <laughs> light. Um, but I, it definitely doesn't belong in the basement. This belongs in the light. See what I did there? Uh, but more importantly, uh, this is a really solid beer. Yeah. A great low calorie choice. A beach beer, mm-hmm. for sure. I mean, it should be absolutely uh, drank exclusively at <laughs> beach-like locations, whether it be your pool or a kiddie pool or the beach itself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a very comfortable, very unsandy, not sandy from the stream, but sandy like the beaches. I'm going to give this a 3.5. This yeah. is a solid beer to go out and have a drink with anywhere in the sun. All right, Stephanie, it is your turn to judge the beer. I mean... If if you're comparing it to other light beers, just like in general, that's a different. Now that's a different world altogether. Yeah, if you're going true. there, hundred percent. Then it gets a five. Right, right. Then it gets a five. Right, right. I get that. <laughs> um, again, I, I would go solid four and a half. Yeah, I mean, I can't argue with that. It's, I, it, honestly, it, it is a really great smooth drinking beer. Uh, on the chat, real quick, someone asked, "Where can I get it?" So, where can people buy uh, Basement Light? You, um, Habersham, okay. Ganums, um, Whole Foods. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, so anywhere. Plenty of options. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Charles, who who we call affectionately Big Sexy, he goes, some of us are a little weight conscious. So, <laughs> uh, 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 Big Sexy, this one's, this one's definitely for you, so go out and grab this. Yeah, that's why we made it. All right, so do you guys got anything coming up uh, just uh, within the next, I don't know, a little bit here locally or any beer-wise, event-wise, anything we can look for? Um, We just did an adult Easter egg hunt nah, up at the brewery. That's awesome. Um, no pants, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, beer. Oh, okay. Dance off, dance off. <laughs> um, gosh, I'm trying to think. I'm not really sure of any events okay, okay. Um, at the brewery, but at 
I believe today. So Dr. Scofflaws, like I was mentioning, right, right, right. is um, part of this like mixed use community. Um, and they're opening the Chattahoochee Food Hall, um, which is like right next door right. to the brewery. So you can go and drink and eat. And it's almost like a Ponce City Market okay. sort awesome. of vibe. Yes. Um, so definitely, if you're in the Atlanta area, you have to check out one the brewery. But definitely, the Doctor Do- Doctor Scofflaw. Doctor Scofflaw. We gotta go, man. This is this is yes. ridiculous. We gotta go. I, I've got to show up. I gotta spend. I gotta go see a Braves game. Watch them lose. There you out go. Out of respect, <laughs> and then I have to spend a day at Scofflaw crying. Uh, and Dr. Scofflaws, <laughs> then eating and sobering up. Right. And then crying and drinking more beer. Yeah, right. perfect. Sounds, yeah. Like a, sounds like a weekend. You got 70 taps to get through, man. Yeah. <laughs> Start early. Uh, all right, Stephanie, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Thank you for the beer. You're welcome anytime for Love Beer for it. Breakfast. This was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, beer for Breakfast. It is brought to you by Coach's Corner in Thunderbolt. Once again, Charlie Fogg Band tonight. Matchbox 20, Hootie and the Blowfish Tribute Band tomorrow night. So we've got... Uh, Marshall's Music News coming up. We're going to wrap up the show in a bit. Cotter and Marshall, Rock 1061. Hey, guys. It's Cotter and Marshall from Rock 1061. Thank you so much for watching our yeah. stupidity on Oof, daily. We appreciate it. So make sure that you like and comment and subscribe. It's down there somewhere. We're not exactly for sure. Uh, we do appreciate it. And, of course, more content always coming soon.